You betcha, I'm George and welcome to the video. Are you working on a 2D game right now? Well, hopefully I can help you decide on which engine you should use by giving you a little bit of a comparison between Godot and Game Maker and hopefully being able to give you an unbiased and objective overview at each of them. And we're not even going to consider Unity based off of some of the more recent drama that they've endured. Starting off with the programming language, really the meat and potatoes of what you're going to be doing. Game Maker's programming language is called GML. This is very similar to C Sharp, but is also similar to a Python a little bit as well, but mainly C Sharp. And then Godot, theirs is called GD Script, and that one's more like Python. But you do also have the option to code in C Sharp or C++ as well. In general, I would give this, for my opinion for this section at least, is I, I think that Godot has the programming language beaten compared to Game Maker because personally I, I would much rather code in Python just because it is the more human readable language and especially it's easier for beginners. It's going to be not as slow as it normally would just because the each of these companies have really optimized these languages and that's why they have a language specific to their engine. One more quick thing that I'll point out about the programming language is that Game Maker used to be mainly a visual language and they've slowly improved and add on, added on the coding aspect of Game Maker. And if you look at how their objects are laid out, they actually have like a create function, a step, a draw that are all separate files versus Godot, you can put all of this in, in separate files and just have a separate function for each of them. So it makes it a little bit more difficult and tedious in Game Maker for doing some of that stuff. One of the main differences though is that Game Maker is owned by a company called Yo-Yo Games. So this is actually a company that supports it, makes updates, has developers directly paid to work on it. And then Godot, on the other hand, is essentially an open source project, so most of the contributions are actually made by the community. And there's not going to be, and the only support you're going to get is that from the community. Whereas Game Maker, you would get support from Yo Yo Games as well. The downfall, honestly, of having this company directly pay people to work on it and manage it is that Game Maker actually costs money to make a game on. And there's separate tiers for this. But if you want to first, the first tier is would be releasing it on Game Maker Store, and that's entirely free. You can sell it for money on Game Maker Store. And then if you want to release it to PC or mobile, that's a one-time cost of I believe it was about $100, which isn't terribly bad if you could make that money, especially on the Game Maker Store first. And then the last piece is the console. And that is actually really expensive. I think that's about $800 a month. I'll explain that a little bit more as we get into Godot here. So probably the biggest pull with Godot is that it's completely free. And you can release to all of these platforms except console. And they blatantly state this on their website that essentially to port your game to console, you'll most likely have to hire some sort of third party to help you with that and go through a lot of work and it would probably cost a lot. Just trying to research this online, I saw estimates in the tens of thousands of dollars for a, a smaller game and up to potentially a million for a bigger game. This is just trying to adhere to the standards that the consoles make you really get your game up to, whether that's the icons, stuff with saves and user profiles, and even get there you have to become registered as a developer for that console first. Really that $800 per month, it kind of starts to pay a little bit in comparison when you think about Game Maker's cost versus Godot. One of my the things that I have seen value from in Game Maker is the built-in editor. This allows you to directly, in Game Maker, edit your sprites 
and they have most of the common 2D editor features that you'd look for, like layers, and then you can bring that directly into your game right after editing it. And Godot doesn't have one built into its editor. There are some made by users, but it's not necessarily directly supported in the game engine. One of the other interesting things that you can maybe consider when deciding between these two engines is that Game Maker is directly focused on 2D. It's very straightforward uh, how you will build your 2D game. And, and in all honesty, you can do software in a million different ways, but Game Maker is a little more streamlined. Whereas if you go to Godot, they were originally only 2D, but now they've expanded to 3D games as well. So they're actually, I would say that Godot is pretty comparable to Unity if you do have any experience in Unity where you could do either or. So sometimes it can be confusing about which features and toggles you should use for 3D versus 2D. And it's just a lot more complex in general and a little bit more difficult to figure out. I have heard the argument that really why some people want to use Godot is that then they can make a 3D game afterwards. But the thing is, it takes so long to develop a game, especially like a good game that you can make money on, that I, I wouldn't really choose a game engine just because it also supports another whole different dimension of gaming. The amount of time it takes to make the game versus the tiny amount of time it makes, takes to learn those things isn't really worth it in the, in the end. I would choose what takes the shorter amount of time and allows you to do a better job. One of the last interesting things I looked for in both of these engines was whether or not they really had any successes. Godot, funny enough, did have one sort of success. It was actually used in a Sonic game a long time ago. I think it was only partially used and they actually lied about it and said they didn't use it, which was really weird. But other than that, they didn't really, there's not really any successes that have used Godot for especially how popular it seems like it is. And then Game Maker, on the other hand, they don't have a whole lot of successes, but they do have Undertale. And that is one of the biggest 2E games of all time. So the fact that that was made in Game Maker is actually pretty impressive. And I think it helps give people that do develop in that game engine hope for the fact that someone has already carved the path and it's possible to make a successful game. Either way, I know this wasn't completely unbiased, but I would highly recommend that you check out both game engines and just try to develop like a simple game in each of them and then see which one you like better and run with it. The last thing you want to be doing is switching game engines halfway through development. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. The best way you can support me is by subscribing and then you can also like, leave a comment below. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.